every day we have a political maven like yourself on the show, and uh, I didn't want to squander the opportunity, so I wanted to try something here. I, I connected uh, with some candidates who lost the, the recent elections, and um, I invited them to come onto the show to get some advice from you. They, they lost their elections. They're pretty crestfallen about it. Maybe you can give them some advice on how to improve for next time? What do you think? I'd love to. I'd love to. Okay, let's bring them out. We've got three candidates here. The first, her name is Rachel McGraw. She is a Green Party candidate for Florida State Senate, District 32. Rachel? <laughs> Rachel. Hey. hey. Oh, cool. Thank you so much for having me on your show, Mr. Hayes. MSNBC is dope. You really went all in with this studio setup. <laughs> uh, so basically, like, so my thing is like, I'm like super passionate about like marijuana legalization, okay? I believe that. And so like, my campaign was like gonna be awesome and I was like about to do it, right? And then like this episode of Law and Order came on and it was like the good one, like the sex one with iced tea. <laughs> So like that came on and then like, you know how it is with that show. It's like, once you watch one episode, like you gotta stick it, you, know, you gotta watch the whole marathon. So, oh gosh, like, you know, six weeks went by and I just like, I went and I wasn't on the ballot. And I think I forgot to go to my campaign. And so I think that's why I lost. So yeah, to answer your question. <laughs> Sorry, what was the question? I don't think there was a question. Oh, good, so I got it right then. <laughs> okay. Well, do you have any advice for a stoner candidate who forgot to put their name on the ballot, Chris? And it's pretty easy. I think, I, I think you, you ended up exactly where you should be. <laughs> Thanks, Very man. Very good. <laughs> Rachel McGraw. Yeah. Nailed it. <laughs> Next up, uh, there's Corey Featherston. He was a Republican candidate for Congress, Michigan's 7th District. We had to fly this guy in here. Corey Featherston. How you guys doing? How you doing? Great, how are you? <clears throat> Not so good. <laughs> well, what's your problem here? I'm, well, I'll be honest with you guys. I, you know, I'm not fully up to date with the modern political climate per se, but I'm a people person. You know what I mean? I, I, I can connect with the American people. Uh, you know, when, I'm, when I see a crowd, you know, and there's a baby out there, I just want to grab it and uh, give it a smooch, right? You know, poli great politicians. Kiss babies. Great time to do that, yeah. Uh, but yeah, American people do not respond to like 99% of the ways that you could kiss a baby. <laughs> Most of them are wrong. There's some, there's, I think there's like two that are cool, but like a lot. <laughs> So I don't know what, I guess, less tongue, or I don't know. What, I don't know what to do. So your problem was that you didn't know the correct way to kiss a baby I think, on the campaign trail. I think my advice would be the next time you're on the campaign trail, yeah. just you just mantra, mantra in your head, cheeks not the lips, cheeks not the lips, cheeks not the lips. That's cheeks dangerous, lips, though. That could get flipped around pretty easily. <laughs> Well, Corey, I'm you not good with, you know, acronyms. <laughs> <laughs> you got a couple of years to work on it, my man. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, drill sorry. drill and, on that. <laughs> and don't shake a baby either. You can sh hands, shake the hands, but don't shake, shake a baby. Hands, right. Kiss the babies. Right. But no tongue. <laughs> Two seconds. <laughs> tops? <laughs> tops. Definitely tops. I didn't even say half a second. Half a second. <laughs> Real quick. Don't linger. Time, when, you're, when the light's in your face, time... It's true. You can tell how fast it's going. But you can't, you can't be too short with that. Yeah, you sit down and Law and Order's on. And then... A lot of Law and Order fans. All right. Well, thank you, Corey. And finally, we have a candidate who actually... Corey Featherston. Next year. Finally, this is interesting. We have a candidate who won his election, except the only problem was he wasn't running for office. Please welcome the new mayor of Chula Vista, California, write-in candidate Seymour Titties. <laughs> So, so I am not the mayor. I am not the mayor. And it's pronounced Tateus. It's Portuguese. Chris, Chris, what's going on in this country that a man can't just, just live his life without being elected to office? This keeps happening to me. And I don't want to be mayor, 
I didn't want to be eighth grade class treasurer. I did not want to be the district attorney. I did not want to be the starting second baseman for the National League All-Star team. I just want to live my life. What, what should I do? I mean... Mr. Tateus. Thank you. I think what you, you have a heavy burden to bear. And I think you need to uh, go about being the kind of mayor that would make the entire line of Tateus proud. So gun stuff. <laughs> stuff. I can do that. Stick, Stick with the, gun stuff. Stick to your guns. Thank you. That's good advice. See more Tateus. And Corey Fezzi, Rachel McGraw. Thank you so much, guys. Hope that was uh, helpful. And that's our time with Chris Hayes. We're going to stick around on the couch for our next yeah, guest. Yeah. Chris Hayes, everybody. Yeah.